Welcome back. The wedding season is upon us, or will be soon for many couples making wedding arrangements. Uh, you know, of course, it can be challenging, and sometimes there can be a few bumps along the way. So we're trying to smooth out those bumps. And that's why this morning the Better Business Bureau is here, Howard Schwartz, and we're going to learn more on how to avoid and protect that wedding investment. Mm. It's it is an investment in some ways, but in a lot of ways, it's a lot of money that people. <laughs> <laughs> spend on their wedding day. Thank you so much, Howard, for being here. I Always appreciate it. Um, so, you know, what do we have to look out for when we are planning a wedding, picking a venue? Well, it's always the things that we don't expect are going to be a problem. With the venue, one of the ways of saving money is to look at your guest list, and maybe you only want a four-course meal rather than a seven-course meal. But there can be problems uh, because a wedding relies on so many different people. The DJ, the, uh, the venue, the photographer, the limousine, and things can go wrong with any of them. And it's not only a distraction, uh, but it's also expensive. You can lose quite a, a good deal of money in deposits. So how do you make sure that you do not lose your money when it comes to these deposits? Well, one of the things is you've got to know your contract inside and out, because that's where you'll find out uh, what happens, what the cancellation would be. Mm. Um, but you can lose your deposits in many other ways. For example, if the venue goes out of business, um, if there's a good example is if you hire a wedding photographer six months before well the last month comes down you call up him or her and you find out the telephone doesn't work anymore they've mm -hmm. gone out of business say goodbye to your uh, deposit for that so you've got to be very very careful that is scary uh, is there any way to get that money back if you do lose your deposit or no it depends. If the person is reputable, they'll try and, and make reparations. If they disappear, then unfortunately, you might be in bad luck. If they worked with someone who kept a copy of the pictures, you might be in luck. But that's one of the reasons that you might want to get uh, wedding insurance, which we'll, we'll talk about in just a moment. Yeah, what, go for it. Wedding insurance, what is that? Wedding insurance is wonderful. It can cover you for all sorts of things, ranging from poor weather to someone getting sick, one of the key players. Uh, not being able to make it. So there'd be a lot of deposits you'd lose because of that, as well as uh, having to cancel for any reason. And that can include things like the venue itself. You also uh, want to make sure that you understand very clearly what it'll cost, for example, if you have to have the DJ or cater or anyone stay an extra hour or two. You mm. don't want surprises on that final bill. Uh, how much is wedding insurance? Honestly, I don't know. You'd have to check, and it probably depends on the coverage that you'd want. Um, but one of the things that can help you, one of the people who can help you uh, choose a broker for that insurance is a wedding planner. And I know a lot of people like to do it themselves. They'll start a year, year and a half in advance. But a wedding planner can handle the heavy lifting, so to speak. They know the contracts in and out, and they're there to look after your best interests. That's always nice, too, just not having to worry as much about that big day, because everything else you have to worry about as well, you know, how you look and what you're going to say, but uh, you don't want to worry about whether or not your photographer is going to show up. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have to, and some of the complaints that Better Business Bureau receives are about uh, contact, uh, contract difficulties, but also uh, no-shows. Can you imagine uh, it's ready, you're waiting for the limousine, and it doesn't show up at all, or it shows up late. These are the kinds of things that are not just a distraction. You have to remember, as you said, this is one of the first tests to see how well a couple can handle a large budget. There you go. There you go. First test of a marriage. Thank you so much, Howard. Always Appreciate a it. Uh, for more information about wedding insurance and things to avoid on the big day, just head to our website, wtnh.com, click on the On Air tab, and pull it down to the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section.